Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 28th of April 1869, a record 10 miles of railway track were laid in a single day by the crews of the Central Pacific Railroad. Construction of the North American Transcontinental Railroad, also known as the Pacific Railroad, began on the 8th of January 1863. It was financed in order to connect the existing railway network of the East Coast to the Pacific Coast. While the Union Pacific Railroad was responsible for construction from the East, the Central Pacific Railroad built the line from Sacramento in California. Although initial construction went smoothly, the climb through the Sierra Nevada mountain range dramatically slowed construction. Fifteen tunnels had to be dug through granite rock, while deep gorges and valleys had to be crossed by building towering wooden trestles. By the time the Central Pacific reached the easier terrain beyond the Sierras, the Union Pacific had mastered an incredibly fast and efficient way to lay multiple miles of track each day. Their approach was shared by a former Union Pacific worker who joined the Central Pacific in March 1868. Rather than using a small track-laying crew to complete all parts of the process, the Union Pacific employed more men, but divided them into specialised teams similar to an assembly line. Once the Central Pacific adopted a similar approach, their rate of progress increased significantly. As the two companies approached the predetermined meeting point at Promontory Summit in Utah Territory, they reportedly had a $10,000 bet over who could lay the most track in a single day. On the 28th of April 1869, eight Irish rail layers of the Central Pacific were supported by hundreds of Chinese labourers to attempt the challenge. By the end of their 12-hour shift, they had laid a record 10 miles and 56 feet of track. (laughs) 